Saturday to try that. I want to try that barrel aged Santa Mama. And I, I was like, but they do growlers. And I was like, I'm not hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And as you guys can see, we're in a new location. We're at Nathan's new house. Thanks, Nathan. You can see all this magical space from here to here. But uh, <laughs> no, it's a beautiful home. And Nathan went down to uh, near Chattanooga in um, uh, Dayton, Tennessee, to a brewery that I've had a couple beers that he's brought back, but you know, not well known unless you're from that area. This is Monkey Town Brewing Company. And this beer, a lot of their beers, as you can tell, it's an IPA. They name after Polly Shore uh, quotes. And so this one, I'm just gonna read it because it's a long <laughs> one. You guys have chickens? Are they extra crispy or original style? So, you know, from son-in-law when he goes yeah, to the farm. He so. doesn't love Polly Shore. Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. So the hop profile is interesting. We have Gargoyle, which we don't know a lot about, Centennial, Azaka, and Vic Secret. We love Vic Secret. Uh, mm -hmm. Last time we had one of those, we got a lot of Galaxy. Yeah, so 5.3% uh, okay. American Pale Ale. Or is it not? Well, I don't think it's American Pale Ale, but anyway. Yeah, nice and hazy. Hazy. That's an extra quarter point. That's starting at a four and a quarter just right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get the nose. Let's yeah. Ooh. It smells nice really and juicy. fruity. Yeah. Mm. I get like soft peach. Yeah, I get mostly the soft tropical fruits. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little pineapple, orange. Maybe a little. Real fruity. Almost a bubble gum kind of note. Yeah, I get it. that, but not real like, um, I mean, there's not a Not harsh, artificial. Yeah, right, no. yeah. And there's nothing harsh, nothing herbal about that. Yeah, I don't get anything herbal. Yeah. All right, let's just try Cheers. it. Thanks Cheers. Thanks for Cheers. Oh, man, that's good. Mm. Mm. Great water profile. I love that. Yeah, it's got that, a nice uh, bite on your that, tongue. That, which is that good. nice bite on the tongue. Very fruity. Comes through more of that. Again, peach, orange. It kind of has a little bit of that crackery malt that's there on the back end. Um, but it's really good. It's almost like a little mosaic plus galaxy to me. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a little bit of an herbal an herbal kick on the on mm. the flavor there. Mm, yeah. Nice bitterness there on the back. Mm -hmm. I like it. Like I said, just a very subtle crackery malt back down there. A but mainly, a cool little cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was this was super tasty. At five and a half percent, this is easy drinking. Oh you yeah, know, very drinkable, creamy. Love the mouthfeel on this. Um, not much bad to say about this one. Hmm. I, I like how it's got you know some resinous notes to it. Yeah. Um, don't really get the wasn't it Centennial? Yeah, I don't get really Centennial. Yeah. That's got a very distinct flavor to mm -hmm. it, but I don't really get that. No, but this is solid for me. I'm gonna go four two five. Mm -hmm. I really dig this. That's where I am too. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah it's really good. And five point three percent. Yeah, I know. Wow, golf course beer. Yeah. It's almost sessionable. Yeah. So it's a pretty golf course beer too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. So from here we go to sour and then stouts. Okay. I'm looking forward to them. Can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.